Hello everybody, Nick over here at Scoggy and Dickie. We appreciate you guys stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. We try to put them out every Friday. This one in particular is gonna be covering an old cooler delete on your Gen 3 or Gen 4 LS and Gen 5 LTs. <clears throat> what I have here next to me, of course, is the LS2 that I always have next to me for a lot of these videos. This is a personal engine that one day you, you will see in a video. We use it for a lot of demonstration stuff, mostly because it's hard to get engines right now. Like I said, we will be talking about Gen 3 and Gen 4 LS, but we'll also be talking about Gen 5 LT. I wanted to have one here to show you, but unfortunately, we don't have any to show right now, so that's okay. It's a very simple concept and a very simple way to delete these uh, old cooler systems. I know that a lot of you have probably bought a junkyard truck engine is kind of one of the bigger ones, or even some of the uh, LT crate engines will have them on there. The LTs will have a big brick. You can see it, it looks finned, and it's right here on the driver's side lower of the uh, of the engine near the uh, old filter and old pan area, kind of in the same spot that I'm pointing to as an LS. The LS is right here above the old filter, these two little ports, two little bolt holes here. Now, these factory systems are actually perfectly fine. If you wanna reuse one, that's not a problem. Most of the time though, we're not taking an LT and putting it into an LT powered vehicle. We're taking an LT and we're putting it in an 85 Monte Carlo. We're putting it in a C3 VET like I got next to me here. We're putting it in something that didn't have one of these engines. So sometimes you have to remove stuff to get it out of the way. It's no big deal to delete one of these though. They run perfectly fine without them. They did help in towing applications, real high performance applications. If you're deleting one, the kits that we offer include all new parts, include the gasket, the cover and the bolts here. They are all new parts in GM bags. We do not try to use aftermarket parts in any way that we can. Usually we get a good enough deal on the GM parts so you guys get a good quality product without spending $50, $100. You know, this stuff is nice and cheap once you put it all together on our website. Now, one of the questions we do get on this is, can I just put a plate there? A lot of you guys, you want, you want to just grab a scrap piece of steel, a couple of the bolts from the, you know, the old cooler lines that maybe you have. You just want to slap that thing on there and get going down the road. You know, why do I have to buy this and pay the shipping and wait for it? Okay, you do have to buy something that is specifically made for this. As you can see, I think I'll use the one here because you can see it. There is actually an opening inside of there. You can't block this off. This is actually part of your oil flow. If you block it off, you won't get oil pressure to the rest of the engine. So you can't do that. If you were wondering, can I use it for an oil uh, feed for a turbocharger? Actually, yes, very common. We have a lot of aftermarket options for that for both LS and LT, where you can actually use that to feed pressurized oil to the turbo. If you guys are wanting to reuse some of that cooler stuff, you actually can. For instance, this is a set of cooler lines that are off of a LT that we got for a project that'll be coming up here in the near future, I hope. This is the short section that bolts to the side, just like it does on an LS, and it goes to these hoses. We have seen people that have cut these hoses off, made custom hoses to a cooler. You absolutely can do that as long as you don't have any leaks. There's not gonna be any problems. It still functions the same. So you can do that as well. I will tell you another pro tip. The LS, the LT, and the LV1, LV3, V6 that we've been working on starting to become pretty popular. All three of those use a different cover, gasket, and bolts. I know that sounds kind of strange. Why didn't they make it all the same? It's one of those things in engineering. They always try to change stuff up on us. So do not try to use one of those or buy one for, for another. You will find out that it will not fit and you can't make it fit. Uh, another quick last tip before I go, the bolts on these are pretty small. I think they're an M6 by one. The torque on these is only 80 inch pounds and that is inch pounds. Please don't do foot pounds. You just snap it clean off. You need to know that so you don't get any leaks. A lot of people get leaks and they think it's the remain seal. They think it's the oil filter. It's actually that tiny little gasket here. And if you didn't torque this thing right, or if you tried to reuse one and it's got a tear in it or a rip, you'll get problems with that too. And on the LTs, one last one actually, the truck engines will have a setup like this that goes up to the radiator. The cars on the other hand, actually it's all contained back here and it actually uses a coolant plug in the block. If you remove that system, you need one of these plugs. We sell them new, right from GM. They even come coated in some thread sealant, really easy to use and install. Most of the time, there's not even really a torque spec for it. It's just get it nice and snug and tight because that thread sealant will do the job for you. I will say it takes a 17 millimeter, uh, like Allen hex head. Most of y'all don't have that in your toolbox. I know I don't because I don't have one either. I don't, I can't find it right now, but what I've done 
you take a 10 millimeter bolt. The head on it is 17 millimeters. A couple washers, a couple bolts. I actually tack welded mine together so I could use it both on and off. And it actually makes a great kind of a stand for you to put a socket wrench or a box and wrench on. And that is all you need to know to delete an oil cooler on your LS or LT engine swap. We appreciate you guys stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. Once again, try to do these every Friday. So please give us a like, subscribe, share, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, TikTok, if you can do one of those dances for us, we really would appreciate that, guy, that too. We will see you guys next week for another tech video. Thanks for stopping by.